There's a simple formula that I often see people get wrong that can cost you or your company millions of dollars. This formula is about comparing percentages. And it's not just for data analysts. I'm gonna show examples of how everyone can benefit from knowing this formula. So we're gonna start out with an example here. We have this web page and it has a conversion rate of 3%. And we're gonna call this page A. We also have another web page, which we're gonna call page B, that has a conversion rate of 5%. Now, typically when you see these two numbers, it's very easy to think that the difference between these two is 2%. But this is wrong. The difference between these two numbers is actually 66.7%. And in order to calculate this, we need to know the percentage change formula. And that formula looks like this. We're gonna take value two minus value one and divide it by value one. Now, if you're saying, hey, I already know this formula, well, I guarantee that there's a really good chance that your coworkers or team members don't know this formula. And so I'm gonna share some tips to make it easier to teach them the formula. And this is also kind of the nerdy version, the nerdy math version of this formula. I'm also gonna share some tips later in the video on easier ways to remember the formula. So if we jump back to our example here with our two pages and we start to apply these numbers, we're going to get 5%, which is value two, subtract 3% and then divide by 3%. So this is two over three or two thirds, which is 66.7%. So to make sense of this, we can compare the conversion rates with the percentage change formula and see that page B is drastically outperforming page A. So I wanna take a quick pause here and talk about conversion rates because this is often an area that also trips people up. So with this, we're saying if we have 100 visitors to this page and we have a 3% conversion rate, that's gonna be three buyers. And if we have 100 visitors to the other page with a 5% conversion rate, that's going to be five buyers. Now, as long as the number of visitors to each page are the same, we can compare three and five. We can put this in our percentage change formula to get the exact same result. We get five minus three over three, which again equals 66.7%. But what if we have a difference in the number of visitors? So let's say on this page A, we have 6,000 visitors. That's gonna give us 180 buyers. And on page B, we only have 100 visitors, which again, is gonna give us five buyers. We can't really compare 180 to five. So this is where we can use the conversion rates instead to do this percentage change comparison. Now you might be wondering, how is this really helping me make million dollar decisions? Because if I look at this, even if I thought it was a 2% difference, I'd still always go with page B. Well, if page B or process B comes with costs of an additional 10%, then you might not make this same decision and stick with page A. So percentage change is really important because it helps us really determine the performance. In this case, page B is outperforming and it might make more sense to go with page B. Now I mentioned earlier, there's an easier way to do this calculation or to remember it. So the typical calculation, again, the kind of nerdy math version you might see is this. The way I tend to remember this is new minus old over old. So instead of value two minus value one, new minus old over old. If we again apply that back to our pages here, the new value is going to be 5% or page B and the old value will be 3% from page A. Now there are also two different methods of, calc of this calculation, the same formula. And of course we've seen this one here, which is new minus old over old. We can also simplify that math to new over old minus one. And a lot of people will prefer this formula. You'll hear people say, I only use this formula. I actually use both. I think there's two different use cases for these. When I'm kind of doing the calculation in my head, I use the first one. When I'm using a calculator or a spreadsheet, I use the second one. And I'm gonna share tips later in the video on how to do this calculation with a spreadsheet. But for doing it in my head, the reason I like the first calculation is because the math is just a little bit easier. It's easier to take the new value five minus the old value three to narrow that down to two over three or simplify that down. And then two over three, two thirds is 66.7%. So a lot of times the fractions are just easier. It's not always gonna be the case, but that uh, first method is just easier for me. And again, if we were to do that with a calculator or a spreadsheet, it'd be five over three minus one, and those are both gonna give us the same result. Next, I'm gonna share some tips for doing these calculations in a spreadsheet. I'm using Excel, but you can be using Google Sheets or any other spreadsheet application. So my preferred method is this one, new over old minus one. We'll go ahead and write that formula here. I'm gonna type equals, then I'm gonna select the cell that contains the new value, 
divide by the cell that contains the old value and then minus one. Hit enter and that'll give us percentage change of 66.7. Now we can also use the other method which is new minus old over old. However, when we do this, we start writing the formula I'm type equals here, we need to use parentheses. So I'm gonna open parentheses. I'm then going to do the subtraction of new minus old close parentheses, then divide by the old value. And the reason we need to use parentheses is because of the order of math operations. Division comes before subtraction, so we have to use parentheses to make sure this subtraction is done before the division. Hit enter here, we'll get the same result. So this formula requires more keystrokes with the parentheses, and that's why I prefer this formula instead. It's just faster and easier to write. Now, one common question on percentage change is number order. So in this same example here, of course, we have a 66.7% percentage change. But what if we were to reverse this where page A is converting at 5% and page B is converting at 3%. Now the formula looks like this, and three over five minus one is going to give us a negative number. But the result is not negative 66.7. Instead, it's negative 40%. And that's because our basis or denominators for each of these fractions is different. And we can now say that page B is performing 40% worse or a 40% reduction in performance compared to page A. So the order of the numbers matters depending on the story that you want to tell. And we can use this same formula to calculate discounts or compare prices. Here we have a sale price and an original price. And if we plug this into the same formula, the new price is the sale price, the old price is the original price, we're going to get negative 20% or a 20% discount. And if prices were increasing and we reverse these numbers, again, we would reverse our formula here and we'd get a 25% increase instead of that 20% decrease. Next, we'll look at some additional examples of when you can use percentage change. So if you're a sports fan or a coach, here we're looking at pass completion rates for two different quarterbacks. And again, when you look at this, you might think there's only a 10% difference, but when we plug this into percentage change, it's actually an 18.2% difference. Here we're looking at response rates for a survey that HR sent out. Again, you might think there's only a 1.5% difference, but this is actually a 30% improvement and we definitely wanna go with survey B. Here we have lost shipment rates between two carriers. And again, this might not look like much of a difference, but when we do percentage change, this is actually a 40% reduction in lost shipments for carrier B. And this final example comes from our website. We were split testing these email signup forms and looking at opt-in rates between these two. When your percentages are below 1%, this can be very deceiving because here we only have a difference between these two numbers of 0.08%. But in reality, this is actually a 14% reduction in performance for form B. And when your business relies on these types of forms to generate leads, this can have a significant impact on revenue. So we've seen the importance of understanding percentage change, and no matter which method you use, I think the world would be a better place if everyone understood this formula. So I encourage you to teach it to your coworkers or team, or feel free to share this video. And if you found it helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna see more useful ways to analyze data, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.